title of the video is pretty self-explanatory, so I'm just gonna go straight into the video and try to make it nice for myself um, because the voiceover thing is truly trickier than you would think. So, as you can already tell, I spent a month drawing a flower every day and today I wanted to share that process and the, um, the experience that I had following a challenge. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I really wanted to pick up drawing again. I spent an, a year and a half without drawing and I was just so terrified of going back to it because you know when you spend a long time without doing something that you used to do very regularly, you just feel like you've forgotten everything you knew before. And I really just wanted to build up again that confidence and that consistency and just have a habit of drawing, if not every day, at least on a more regular basis. So I knew that I needed a topic that would be comfortable for me and flowers have always been my go-to. I love the fact that they can be familiar and they can be welcoming. I don't know if that's a weird way to put it, but I just feel like flowers are such a universal thing that everybody likes because obviously you're gonna spend a long time drawing this kind of thing. So it really needed to be a thing that was versatile enough so that you wouldn't get bored, but that was also consistent enough so that you wouldn't have to think of a new thing to draw every single day and that it would become an extra worry to have and so that I could really just make it as simple as, it, as I could possibly make it and focus just on the drawings. So regarding the rules, I didn't even put that many rules on myself. The only rule was to draw one time a day. Uh, now, did I completely do this without cheating? No, I did tweak the time sometimes. I had to maybe draw two flowers a day. Regarding the medium, again, I also didn't really have any rules. I thought I was going to do the whole thing in pencil because of the same thing that I was trying to keep it simple. But around half of the challenge, I just started to really miss the color. Obviously, a huge part of the beauty of flowers is their incredible color. So I just felt like it would have been a huge missed opportunity to keep everything black and white. And that's when I got into watercolor. I have never actually experimented all that much with watercolors in the past. I think that we're always very scared of them because we're always told that they are so unforgiving and that they are so difficult and that you have to be an absolute pro to do it. But I think that watercolors can also be very simple. It just depends on the approach that you give it. And for me, they were just the perfect way to add color to my drawings in a way that felt very easy, very simple and very practical because of course the cleaning is always a huge thing and when you're trying to do something every single day um, that was a huge thing for me that I needed it to be easy to adapt, easy to record. You can tell that of course the setting is different every day. Uh, I tried to be as consistent as I could but I've never actually recorded anything. It just, you just feel like you have some someone watching so you're more scared to mess up. I feel like that's why at the beginning it would take me so much time to draw literally anything because I was so scared of the big brother looking over me in the shape of my iPhone. I don't know if I have anything else to say regarding the process. I do have some specific drawings that I like more, but I think I'm just gonna leave it here because um, I know that a lot of people just like to watch the time lapse and again i'm just getting used to the whole voiceover thing so i'm just gonna try to keep it nice and simple so i hope that you enjoyed the video that you found it um if anything entertaining maybe it sparks an idea and as i said i do have some things to say about maybe some specific drawings but i think I'll, i'm just gonna add it into the video and for now i am just leaving you to watch the rest of it i hope you like it i really had a lot of fun doing this i learned so much that's it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you another time.